Well, hi, everybody, and good Friday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. Not the Friday we want, as it is a big change from yesterday uh, behind a cold front, which is now down to our south across central Kansas. That front has brought in a blustery north and northeast wind, cooler temperatures in the 40s for most of us to start the day, some 30s out in the panhandle, some 50s in southeast Nebraska, and it's been raining most of the night across the uh, northern portions of Nebraska. Now, the snow really hasn't materialized much in northwest Nebraska. It's been trying to change over at times, so most of that snow has been up in the uh, Black Hills of South Dakota, but the chances of precipitation will lessen over the next couple of hours. We'll keep a small chance going for the Tri-Cities. Better chances up north, but by this afternoon, the chances really start to dissipate. We'll maybe pick up a little bit of uh, cloud cover, breaks, a few breaks in the clouds there. Your best chance of some sun, though, is going to be across the northeast part of the state, and that might be where temperatures are warmest today. Maybe a few more mid-50s out there. Otherwise, many of us stuck, stuck in the lower 50s. I would not be surprised to see some places only high, see only highs in the uh, upper 40s this afternoon. So a big, big change from yesterday. Heading into tonight, then we drop off initially uh, with the evening with some partial clearing. If you're heading to an area football game, it's likely going to be in the 40s. It will be dry though. That's the good news. I don't expect precipitation if you're going to an area high school football game. But temperatures in the 40s though, you'll want that uh, extra layer. Uh, out there, so we're just not used to it quite yet. Then, as we get into the late night hours, we'll see increasing clouds. Attempts may rise a few degrees late in the night, so we may see our low closer to the midnight time frame. And then, rain moves in early tomorrow morning across, especially central and eastern Nebraska. That rain will continue tomorrow morning, although uh, kind of push more to the eastern part of the state in the afternoon. So, central Nebraska, I think, will dry it out in the afternoon, but keep the rain in the eastern part of the state tomorrow afternoon. Uh, out west, though, look at the sunshine, or it's going to be warmer out there. And in fact, with a warm front lifting into southwest Nebraska, we may see a nice little climb in temperatures out to the west. We could see some 70s out west. So compare that 50s under the clouds, 60s out west, and maybe some 70s in the far southwest on the other side of that frontal boundary. Well, how do today's temperatures local? Well, everybody's going to be on the chillier side. We're talking about low to mid 50s up north. Chance of rain mainly in the morning, mostly cloudy, maybe sneaking in some sunshine this afternoon. Out west, Mainly cloudy, possibly some sun later in the day, but not much. Slight chance of light rain or drizzle, low to mid-50s. And all the locations, same weather conditions. Mainly cloudy, small chance of some sun this afternoon, and a small chance of light rain or drizzle, mainly in the morning hours with low 50s again for high temperatures. Well, the next couple of days, well, the weekend, we're looking at high temperatures, upper 50s here in the Tri-Cities area. So it'll be a struggle to warm up. We're going to see a breezy day on Saturday, not as much wind on Sunday, and about a 40% chance of off and on rain or drizzle out there. The best chance of staying dry would be Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening in the Tri-Cities here. Rain will continue Sunday night, Monday morning then uh, wraps up by daybreak. Monday, though, mostly cloudy skies. We're going to try to push closer to 70 degrees. I am not sure, though, if we can get there. Many models are keeping us in the 60s, but it looks like much warmer air surges north into the area Tuesday and Wednesday as we're back. Now going with 80s for forecast high for those days here. We could be well into the 80s in some cases. Some models are pushing upper 80s, so we'll see. Not confident in going that warm yet. In fact, look at that overnight low Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. That's warmer than our highs are going to be the next three days. But another cold front comes through Wednesday night, and that cools us right back down into the upper 50s by Thursday with a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms Wednesday, a little better chance for Wednesday night into the day on Thursday here. So uh, up and down weather forecast here, and we're going to be on the downside of things for the uh, weekend here, including Saturday in Lincoln. If you have uh, plans to uh, head to Lincoln for the Purdue Boilermakers versus the uh, Huskers, uh, we're looking at a chilly rain, the best chance of rain in the morning hours with the temperatures in the 40s. And by the uh, kickoff time there, 2.30, lower 50, still a slight chance of rain during the game. So dress appropriately, maybe some rain gear or poncho, not out of the question. I, I don't expect heavy rainfall. It'll be mostly a light rain event, but it's something that will not be overly pleasant. So there you go. Like I said, nothing down forecast over the next uh, week ahead. And, and beyond that, uh, really, as you look, go back to the seven-day forecast real quick here. It looks like more down towards the end of next week, and we're going to fluctuate a lot through the first few weeks of October, and it looks like even beyond the seven-day forecast, fairly active weather. We could see several more chances of rain and thunderstorms down the road here. So, uh, so yeah, very active weather, and uh, again, this is what you expect in fall, all these ups and downs. So there is your forecast for today. Until next time, next Monday, I'm meteorologist Travis Kaneski. Hope you'll have a wonderful weekend. Take care, and God bless. Bye.